Welcome back to Studio 701. Now, the CDC has come out with new recommendations about trick or treating. That's right. The recommendation is now for families to consider lower risk activities like pumpkin carving instead. Although Halloween is still more than a month away, we talked with some parents living in the 701 about their plans. All right, welcome to Parent Panel. Thank you so much for being here, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. What do you think as far as safety measures with COVID and Halloween? Your kids, I'm sure, are very excited about what they're going to dress up as. Ryan, let's start with you. What are your plans for the holiday? Um, to be honest, we haven't really thought much about it. We did buy costumes like four weeks ago at Costco when they first came out. <laughs> but that's about as far as we've gotten. Um, I would We'll still hand out candy at our house. What I'm thinking we're, we're going to do instead is have prepackaged bags with maybe some candy and some goodies so we can leave those out. If someone wants to grab a bag, like they're just grabbing one. They're not dipping their whole hand in the candy jar. Mm -hmm. And just kind of go from there. We'll load the boys up on the quad and probably drive through the neighborhood. I think a lot of people in my neighborhood are actually going to want to do some Halloween activities. Yeah. I think the kids need that. Mm -hmm. It's not their fault. We can do things safely. Yeah. My son is anti-candy. Wow. <laughs> I know. Like, I don't, I don't understand. He will eat Tootsie Rolls, but that's, that's it. Yeah, so he's very particular about what kind of sugary treat he <laughs> indulges in, which is totally not like his mother at all. Um, so, and we've given him the option every year like hey bud you want to go trick-or-treating no oh wow okay like <laughs> heart totally crushed but it's good <laughs> we've got this um yeah so more than likely what we'll do is we'll just stay home as we have in the last few years and just have just you know hang out on in the driveway on the front porch and have yeah prepackaged candy ready to go um my husband saw somebody made this huge like pvc <gasps> pipe like candy shooter thing where you just you put the candy down the the tube and yeah and then it lands in the kids you know little bag or and and so i i kind of want to be creative if yeah if, if everything's safe and and that kind of thing i want to be creative on on mm -hmm. if there are kids that are out and they need some joy i i will gladly you know, throw Skittles down a tube to them. And my son will probably sit in the window and just watch his mom have fun. <laughs> you know, my my boys love Halloween and I love Halloween. Mm -hmm. And so I am sure we will go out. Um, we're just gonna do it. I, I don't know what else to say besides that. Like, you have to do some things. If we're just gonna be sheltered in our, like, houses and not interact with anybody like you're not going to be standing there long right you go up you say trick-or-treat you get some candy you go you know like it's not like you're having long conversations with people at every door and usually that's you know close contact and whatnot it's like you have to be with somebody for such amount of time without masks on you know so i think we'll just we're just gonna rock it hmm. And, and if it ends up like we're not supposed to, I'm sure we'll still go to grandma's house yeah, and just yeah. drive and go to like my aunt's and a few places that we know. So Now, if you have thought of this, and especially you because you already bought yours, do you mind sharing what you will be for Halloween? I don't have a costume as of yet, but there's still time. Um, my oldest son is going to be a SWAT officer and then Jensen picked out a fire suit. Aww. So a fireman, like he saw it and he's like, no, fire suit, like <laughs> so into it. <laughs> so they've already been wearing those for a long time. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, he was really interested in Star Wars mm -hmm. and loves those characters. So I could see if the tide changes and he decides that Halloween and trick-or-treating is cool, I think he would go with Star Wars. Me personally, if I am handing out candy, I will be dressing up as Maleficent. Ooh, nice. good one. Like the whole horn. Your house. Yes. yes. <laughs> the horns and everything? Yes, wow. I have a headband. Gosh, I love it. With the horns. Oh. You know, last, last year my boys changed their minds like every couple of days. Like it was really like, 
they just kept on changing and changing and changing. And so we kind of waited to like the very last minute to be like, okay, what is it today? Because mm -hmm. this is what we're going to stick with. So let's pick. I'm really not sure. They keep on saying multiple different things. Mm -hmm. I'll dress up as something like last year. It was like bandits and we were the cops, right? So we got badges. So my husband and I went. So it kind of depends. We don't necessarily do the family thing, but I do dress up every year at something, yeah. Yeah. right? Okay. Well, I can't wait fun. to find out. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right. Thank you, ladies. Yeah. Okay. This parent panel conversation happened right after the CDC made its new recommendations to avoid traditional trick-or-treating, highlighting it as a high-risk activity. All three moms wanted to see what is happening in the state closer to the holiday before officially deciding on their family plans. If there's a topic you'd like to see us discuss with our parent panel, please send in your questions to studio701 at kxnet.com. All right, keep it here. Still to come on Studio 701.